this right here so the results on the page because the the lower this is right here guys the lower this is if that long tail keyword has a search volume okay if you make your first sale you're gonna be ranking on the front page yo what's up what's going on so in this video i'm going to show you how to do some research strategies some research methods that i've been using i still am using to this day there's the free way there's the helium 10 way you get two free searches a day okay so don't forget about that okay you can find some good stuff within those two searches i guarantee it if you do it correctly take you step by step take you what through some of the stuff that i find on the productor dashboard too as well this is a cool little feature on the Productor dashboard if you guys are unaware of that, that you can find some freaking really hot niches, but you gotta be careful with certain things because there's certain things that you cannot design for, right? And you wanna be careful because you wanna make sure that you're not doing any trademark or infringing on anything, okay, when it comes to this. So always double check, okay? Be aware of this, take care of your account. You don't wanna get in trouble. Yeah, let's get into the content. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell. All right guys, so if you guys are not checking the daily trends right here daily on the Merch Productor dashboard, check it every day because you're gonna get an insight and see what's, what people are searching for on Google Trends and it's gonna give you some good information, right? Some of this stuff though, you can't obviously design for when it comes to Merch by Amazon because you wanna be very careful because you don't wanna get in trouble. You know, you wanna follow the, the rules on Merch by Amazon, stuff like that. So some of this stuff, obviously you cannot uh, design for. You don't wanna be infringing on certain things, right? So for example, and this is one of the ways that I've, that I check to see, cause I, some, sometimes I don't know, right? I'm like, okay, maybe this is you too, probably. Like sometimes you don't know what like right here, like don't, don't waste your time. Like, I don't know what that was. Like what the heck is that? But it has a surge of 1500%. Maybe you watching this video, maybe you know, all right? Maybe you don't know, right? So what do we do? What do we do in this situation? Because maybe this is something that we can probably be one of the first people in that trend and make, sh make sales, right? So I searched it, okay, a, a Google search, just highlight it here, you know, you can just highlight it right here, search, and then you just, you know, you search Google, and then it'll pop up. So I did that, and then I kind of like, okay, looking at this, looking at the information, now I kind of see it's referring to a song, and then I come over here, I miss you, blank, blink 182, so now I kind of see where this is going, so this is kind of just taking a flip off of a song me personally i wouldn't do anything like that so you just we want to be careful because it's yeah, you don't want to be kind of just the way i've seen certain accounts get you know suspended on merch by amazon by doing certain things anything related to songs or anything like that you want to be careful it's up to you on how you want to play this when it when it comes to your your merch by amazon account but you can see that you come over here on etsy you pull this up okay and then it's going to be grab this saying over here you're gonna see a few people that have bring the tab over here that have uploaded 18 results you're gonna see a few people have, that have uploaded it over here and uh, look at that it's let's see okay as I come down here and, the, and that obviously sounds like it's like from the song I want to say right and they're just taking a flip off of it the BSR is crushing, right? And let's come over here, look at the chart real fast. This is uploaded on the 17th, right? And like, this is something that I wouldn't do, okay? Me personally, but you're gonna see that it's, it's, it's you know, it's starting to crush and it's starting to rank. You see how they did the, the, the title, right? They're trying to fit in a different, few different long tail keywords in here to basically get more search volume. All right, you can even see what they did with the brand. Um, and obviously it worked and see what they did and it's crushing it and all that fun stuff. But me personally, I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't recommend you doing that either. Uh, but it's up to you at the end of the day, but you definitely get, you, you don't wanna get your account suspended. That's why I feel when I go to like messing with any of this, any of these things, right? So yeah, I, I, I seen that. This is kind of like one of the, the daily things when I come over here onto the Merch Productor dashboard and see like okay what if there is there anything that's coming out that's catching my eye right um what'll camp combat obviously no i'm vaccinated shirt uh i wouldn't do that neither um but this is cool because it gives you an insight of what people you know what people are searching for on google right and then you kind of just take that same thing and just you know do a google search 
and you're gonna see it pop up and you're gonna see it over here on Etsy, right? It's on a mug, um, it's a bestseller. Six people have it at cart, you know, they have reviews on it already. And over here on Amazon, obviously you can see as we search it, we filter it, you're gonna see that it's obviously has a good BSR, uh, results very low. So not just stopping there. So sometimes just what I like to do is when I come in here and I see this type of stuff, right? And it just, just because you see stuff like this doesn't mean that it's not ranking for other things, right? Um, that you can't design for, right? So don't just stop there. And I'm gonna show you this little trick that I'd like to use. So when I come over here, I'm gonna bring this up. I'm gonna uh, do a, a, a Celebro search using the ASIN because I wanna see what other information that's inside. Um, what keywords people are using. You're gonna see that they're obviously using the Blink 182, I miss you Blink, to find to try, try to find this shirt. But sometimes it's weird because the algorithm some has, it pops up for certain long tail keywords. And in this situation, I don't see any, okay? Miss shirt, it's an idea, but obviously that shirt's gonna pop up. But like miss shirt, right? You're gonna see that kind of, you get the idea of me doing that type of long tail keyword search. Maybe like that's an actual niche that I'm unaware of, right? And you can find niches in here that are long tail keywords by using uh, Helium 10, right? And if you're unaware too, I have my affiliate link down below, sign up right down below um, using Helium 10. It's $37 a month for that, right? People will get confused and try to sign up and it says 100. You can actually just sign up for Celebro and just use that. And that's the main tool that I use when it comes to doing research on Amazon. But you can, the, the way that I showed you right now, you can obviously do it that, that free way too as well. But the idea behind this is I wanna find niches that have very little competition. And this is one of the ways that I do it. Just because you find something that you cannot design for on Amazon, doesn't mean you can't spy on their damn keywords and take their keywords and see what they're doing and, and spy on your competition. So we got that out the way, there's nothing there, right? Maybe miss shirt, right? But I don't really see nothing. Maybe you have an idea of something like that. So going back to basics, right? Coming back over here to merchresearch.com. It's a free, a free way to do it. I came over here. I left this blank, by the way, at the time. And I just press search. And then as I come over here, I come down this. And this shirt's popping up right here again. Um, this I, I, started, I sorted it by newest arrival. Okay. And then I'm coming down. I just want to see something that is, find something that has a, a BSR, but like something that's fairly new. Stop lying, right? You can see like this one was barely uploaded. Okay. This one was barely uploaded, so I'm gonna open that one. And then as I come down here too as well, um, you guys are gonna see this one right here. I, I, I opened up this one already. Unmasked, unmuzzled, unvaccinated, unafraid, right? I feel like that has to do with human tragedy. Okay, so that's kind of, oh, that's in like in the, it's in the, it's in the, <laughs> it's in that gray area, right? Like, oh, it has to do with vaccinated and unvaccinated or whatever, okay? It's in kind of like the same niche, but when I pop that up, Okay, I, when I pop that one up right there, I'm seeing this right here. So the first thing that I do is I wanna search it. I take it back over here to Merch Research and I searched it, right? And you're gonna see that the BSR is not popping up, so it barely just made a sale over here on the, the Helium 10. And this one's free too as well. It's right up here. You can download that. Just, um, I'll put it down below in the description too. So I, I went ahead and searched that, right? We have a 217 results, okay? You're gonna see that some uh, BSR is on here, okay? And what I usually look for when I go into a new niche, I want to see if like I can learn the niche, you can learn the niche, right? And see what they're kind of like, who they're targeting and stuff like that, right? Um, and you want to see if there's opportunity. Obviously, when I'm coming into here, I'm just like, okay, first of all, I wouldn't mess with this niche. It's kind of like in the, in the, in the gray area. And then some of you probably kind of run into a scenario. Why am I showing this to you guys? It's because this happens to a lot of us, right? We're like, well, what can we design for? Right? Um, so I want to show you like, what you can do, like even if you run into these type of problems, we can we can find other niches by figuring out what's going on. And I think this this niche right here is like the like kind of like the American way of saying, yeah, unvaccinated, unafraid, like I'm not gonna take the vaccine or whatever it is, right? So I see this one right here. This one has a, a, a decent BSR. This one has a de decent BSR. Down, go down, go down, go down. This one, okay. Well, pretty much almost the whole page has a BSR then it starts fading off because it's like a, it's a newer niche, right? So what I'm going to do is open up this one, okay? I'm coming in here and, and they put it at cost, right? And you can see what they're doing with the brand and the, you can see what they're doing with the title, 
all right and then i'm gonna you can see that we have some some bsrs we have some some ranking in here so i'm gonna take the keywords and see if we can find anything in here okay also if you guys are not doing this this is one way that you can do it right or just figure out what keywords people are using because these certain keywords in these niches right can lead to other niches newer niches um and yes it's going to take a little bit more work but that's the cool thing because most people are not doing that and that's how you find those very very passionate niches that can help you make sales and next thing you know you have a consistent seller in a niche that no one knows about okay it just takes a little bit more work sometimes okay uh you're gonna see like because anybody can go onto the merch research page and do a search right and then do what exactly what i did right anybody can do that so how many people are doing that okay but how many people are actually taking the time to do the next level step and this is why i share share with you guys helium 10 and i show you all this other stuff because it it works you do i do it over and over and over but also i want you guys to understand that when you're doing this stuff you open up so much more opportunity for you right because next thing you know it look at this is what i'm talking about you're gonna see american flag t-shirt of course there's gonna be a ton of competing products right there's gonna be a ton of competing products right there and we're getting into here we're not seeing nothing at all dang it sucks right <laughs> so but the american flag t-shirt right you're gonna see this right here okay competing products is ranking 57 but let's click on this so the idea behind this is let me find a t-shirt okay let me find another t-shirt let's say average customer review let's find a merch product right let's go so we got the real cool papa okay this one has a good amount of reviews that's what i like to see let's see it okay 94 ratings 94 <clears throat> let me see where's the there we go oh now you want to pop up okay so this is what i want to see okay so you're going to see that it has a a pretty good amount of consistent sales okay that's good because what is that telling us that's basically telling us that when we come on to amazon and this has a good amount of data a good amount of history of sales people using long tail keywords to make a purchase for this shirt right so let's click on keywords when i click on the keywords too guys this is basically like a shortcut to uh Celebro over here and when i do that what's happening okay it's you know it's going to give us a ton of good information in here and the goal is to find you know competing products um we want a good we want a good search volume but basically so the competing products what i'm looking at right here and you can do this too as well but you can see how this speeds up the process right you can do this as well you can come over here and do it the freeway by just coming over here and seeing what long tail keywords people are using to find this shirt and you're going to keep on using long tail keywords maybe in the title or in the brand to see if how this shirt's popping up right and you're going to be looking at the results which would be this right here so the results on the page because the the lower this is right here guys the lower this is if that long tail keyword has a search volume okay if you make your first sale you're going to be ranking on the front page if you rank on the front page for that long tail keyword what does that mean it's going to drive more traffic to your listing okay it means more money right so what i like to look for is long tail keywords that have very little competition and i think we found something and this is crazy because this is how powerful this is because we're gonna find stuff and we're gonna getting lower down here let me see pop of the fish whisperer okay pop fishing pole american flag shirt i'm looking at these keywords guys to see what pops up right here that i can actually dive into the niche right and so what i like to do is so if I see this, boom. Okay, now it's you can see that pop up the fish. You can see that shirts are popping up for this. Okay, um, you can see that one has a sell. But what I like to do is it takes a little bit more work. But I'll come in here and just start searching for like a lot of this stuff because sometimes no shirts, no no merch by Amazon shirts will pop up. And when you when you do that, you find a new niche with barely any competition. And now I'm, I'm not saying that it, it might happen with this video that I'm doing for you guys, but this is the idea behind it, okay? And I just keep searching and searching and searching and finding long tail keywords. And then next thing you know it, I have a 
And of course, you, you want to make sure you check for trademarks and stuff like that. Next thing you know, it, I have a, a, a new niche with no search volume, right? Pop with the fish. Let me see the pop a shirt for men, t shirt for men. And it may maybe even be like a general phrase like this, right? And you can you can see what you can create for this niche because you can see when we did that right there, it only has like 177 competing products, but you, you like you never know. So this is like one of the processes and one of the strategies that I like to do use as I'm searching to try to find new products. It takes a little bit more work, but it's all worth it when you find reading rainbow t-shirt. You'll you'll find like this right here. Okay. You'll find niches that you never even thought about because what does this have to do with the fishing niche, right? Okay. This is the power of this right here. You'll find niches like this and you're just like, dude, I never even thought about this niche. It's because it just, when you come in here and you do certain research, you're doing research the right way, you'll find stuff that you never even thought about designing for. And that's how powerful it is. Right. And it's crazy. All right. So that, that's why I like to use like, like these type of tools because it's like, this niche and this niche are two separate things, but for some reason on the algorithm, this niche is popping up, all right? And then you can just do the same thing with this niche too as well. Just find the top selling shirt in the niche, right? This one right here, and then just go down that rabbit trail, okay? You wanna figure out what people are searching for to find this, but you can also just, you just buy on this product right here and look at the long tail keywords in the niche to see what you can find, okay? And this is, trust me, it's powerful huge right because you can just find just random stuff that you can you never even thought about so you get the idea behind the strategy right here and i think it's it's a lot of people overlook this strategy but if you apply this okay but also watch out for certain things that you can't design for if you apply this and rinse it's a rinse and repeat process after that you're gonna see that oh dude i'm finding a ton of niches and this is powerful and I can make a lot of money with this right here by doing this technique, right? Um, so yeah, check out my other video up here and, and I'll show you like the free way to do it without using Helium 10. Helium 10, you get two free searches a day, okay? Try it, find two or three niches a day, design four, and go from there. Like I said, if you get any value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. Check out the next one up there.